Stings and bites from these small bugs aren't just annoying. They can cause serious health dangers too. Could you recognize the most common bugs you may encounter outdoors that pose health risks? If you're planning on spending some time outdoors this summer, a few unwanted guests might join you. Mosquitoes, ticks, and other stinging insects can definitely put a stop on your fun in the sun. Before you plan your next adventure in nature or attend another backyard barbecue, make sure you familiarize yourself with the most common and uncommon bugs that can present hazards to your health. Also learn how to prevent bites and stings before they happen. Good thing this video will provide all of this information for you. Number 1 is Mosquitoes. They aren't just annoying. They can also spread very deadly diseases. It seems like summer is impossible without mosquitoes. Just as you're setting into your evening routine, so are they. That makes for some really uncomfortable summer nights. There are more than 3,000 known varieties of mosquitoes around the world. These blood-sucking insects can easily be identified by their buzz and itching bite. However, sometimes mosquito bites are more than just annoying. Numerous serious diseases are communicated by mosquitoes, including malaria, West Nile virus, Zika, and Japanese encephalitis. Mosquito diseases vary largely by geography and by type of mosquito. If you're in North America, there's little real worry of transmission. Other complications can include allergic reactions. Skeeter syndrome is a rare allergic reaction that is associated with mosquito bites. Skeeter syndrome is a name given to patients who develop pretty significant swelling with insect bites, in particular mosquito bites. Those reactions tend to be quite large. It is larger than the typical inflammatory response that you get in the skin. They also can have some whole body or systemic symptoms. These symptoms can include low-grade fever and an overall unwell feeling or malaise. Number 2 is Ticks. Ticks can carry serious diseases, such as Lyme disease and the Powassan virus. Ticks are arachnids found throughout the United States. Different varieties are known to inhabit certain geographic regions. When dealing with ticks, knowledge is very important. You have to understand which ticks inhabit the geographic region where you live, how to identify them, and knowing which diseases they're able to transmit. The most important thing that people need to know is that different types of ticks carry different germs. It's really important to know that because the media makes everyone believe that tick is sort of a generic word and that any tick is a possible vector for any germ that you have heard about, which is not true at all. For example, only the black-legged and western black-legged tick varieties are known to transmit Lyme disease. But if you live in a region where the lone star tick lives, you should be aware of other potential complications, like alpha-gal allergy. Alpha-gal allergy also known as red meat allergy, is believed to be triggered by the bites of lone star ticks. It causes the individual to develop an allergy to galactose alpha-1,3 galactose, a carbohydrate found in the cells of non-primate mammals, including cows, sheep, and pigs. Number 3 is bees and wasps. Serious allergic reactions to stings from some bees and wasps can cause anaphylaxis in a number of people. It's quite frequent to get allergic reactions to stinging insects. So this would be honeybees, wasps, hornets, and yellow jackets. These are the particular bees and wasps that are most common for humans to have the potential to have a life-threatening allergic reaction when they are stung. Unlike mosquitoes and ticks, the main health risk of these stinging insects comes from a serious allergic reaction known as anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is identifiable by a cluster of symptoms, including lightheadedness, fainting, hives, and swelling of the face and lips. Severe anaphylaxis requires emergency medical intervention, including the use of injectable epinephrine. It may also require hospitalization if symptoms don't resolve. Number 4 is Ants. Not all ants bite, but if you live in a region where fire ants are common, be aware that, like bees and wasps, they present the potential for an allergic reaction and anaphylaxis in some people. Native to South America, fire ants are believed to have migrated to the southern United States in 1918 on a cargo ship from Argentina to Alabama. Like bee stings, injectable epinephrine is a powerful antidote to anaphylaxis caused by ant bites. Number 5 is triatomine bugs also known as kissing bugs. 
They may have a cute name, but kissing bugs excrement can be deadly. Somewhat uncommon in the United States, kissing bugs are known to inhabit Central and South America. But they've been identified in 28 states across the United States and have been making inroads in places farther north, including as far as Delaware. Kissing bugs feed on blood and take their name from their affinity for biting sleeping humans around the mouth and eyes. They're capable of transmitting the parasite Trypanosoma cruzi through their feces. The parasite is responsible for Chagas disease, which is a serious illness known to affect the heart. Chagas disease is associated with heart failure, stroke, arrhythmia, and sudden death. Number 6 is fleas. Fleas are perhaps most well known for transmitting the bubonic plague, aka, the Black Death that ravaged Europe during the Middle Ages. Good thing there's little risk of the disease in the United States today. However, these tiny pests, particularly Tenocephalides felis, the cat flea, are still known to have dangerous pathogens. Cat Scratch Fever isn't just a great song to jam out to this summer. It's actually the colloquial term for a disease caused by Bartonella, bacteria transmitted by cat fleas. Bites from fleas are also known to trigger potentially serious allergies in addition to being generally itchy and annoying. Each type of prevention varies depending on the type of insect. This is why it is important to familiarize yourself with the particular insects and their associated pathogens where you live. Unless you see what actually bit you, an illness can be difficult to diagnose and treat. In addition to trying to identify an insect, it's also important to keep a timeline of the bite and the progression of symptoms. As you spend more time outside during the summer months, there are some general tips you can use to keep yourself safe from biting and stinging insects. If you can get away with wearing long sleeves and long pants and covering up, that's going to be really helpful. In addition, using DEET containing insect repellents and clothing treated with permethrin can help ward off some of those most common critters out there. If you have pets, be sure to check them for bugs if you've spent the day outdoors. It's also smart, particularly if you live in an area with ticks, to inspect your body and clothing when re-entering your home to ensure that you don't bring any insects inside with you. For bites, common over-the-counter remedies, including antihistamines and topical steroid creams like hydrocortisone that can help with itchy redness and inflammation. But don't be afraid to seek out a doctor or allergist if the bite doesn't resolve or additional symptoms appear. If you were to have worsening of symptoms a few days in, or you've really been scratching at that particular bite and symptoms are worsening that could mean that there might be infection, and you should get evaluated.